All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, and we do so if you actually can. So it's time for the monthly oil demand levels update. And as always, if you want access to the graphs used in this video and hundreds of other different kinds of graphs across all different kinds of similar subjects, there's a link in the description to a drive folder where you can access all of those for free. Any financial support helps with the maintenance and upkeep of all of that as well. So starting off with the largest consumer, obviously still and going to remain at this point the U.S., at a plateau of roughly 20 million barrels per day for the last 20 plus years. And this time coming in almost right on point, just a few thousand barrels above 20 million barrels per day. China seems like they're hitting their demand peak and plateauing out at around 17, it looks like. And once again, for another month in a row, they've come in right around 17. Although in the economic aftermath of their upcoming attempted invasion of Taiwan, that demand level is obviously going to contract. India has almost reached 6 million barrels per day and is still growing. They were contracting as their demand level is higher during the earlier part of the year, during the first half. So they're working their way back upwards now along the usual yearly seasonal cycle and are back up over 5.9, coming in at 5.91 million barrels per day. Japan peaked up at about 6 million barrels per day decades ago, but because of rapid uptake in vehicle fuel efficiency, adoption of smaller vehicles, the use of mass public transit, and the gradual aging of their population, they have declined down to usually only between three and a half and four. And over the last few months, they've actually been depressed even below that, I mean, in a 3.04 most recently. Russia was once up at five million barrels per day within the USSR, just Russia, not the entire USSR itself. The entire USSR was about 7.5, but just Russia within the USSR was about five. After everything fell apart, Russia in the economic collapse afterwards fell down to around two. And they recovered back up to a demand level close to four before invading Ukraine. And in the economic fallout since then, they've predominantly been closer to three. And they were up around 3.2 up until the past couple months with all of the relentless drone strikes on their oil and gas infrastructure that have hampered their ability to provide fuel, gasoline and diesel predominantly, to be consumed in the first place. And they have classified a bunch of their data and refused to publish things publicly, but we're still able to get a rough gauge on stuff. Although it's impossible to actually pinpoint the exact numbers down anymore. I do apologize for that. But it looks like they are down in the upper twos now because of everything going on. Some are between 2.8 and 2.9 most likely. South Korea has plateaued at about 2.8. And because of their demographic setup, especially they'll be following Japan's route pretty soon. They this time came in at 2.82 million barrels per day. Saudi Arabia fluctuates between 2 and 3 over the course of the year, highest during summer because of how hot it gets, and they still generate a decent amount of their electricity from oil-fired power generation. So the much higher electricity demand in summer drives up their oil demand with it. And their most recent data is their August data. So at the highest point of the year, they came in just under 2.8 at 2.79. Canada in present day holds usually pretty steady around 2.5 and, and came in close enough at 2.46. Brazil was once up close to 3, but in their economic tumble down throughout the 2010s, they dropped down in oil consumption with that, obviously, and have never really gone back up. And most recently, over the last couple of years, they've fluctuated pretty wildly in the lower two range, this time coming in at 2.13 million barrels per day. Indonesia in present day up to averaging between two and two and a half, this time coming in back down at 2.03. Germany, on the meanwhile, is almost down to an average of two from once being up at about three million barrels per day decades ago. This time they came in at 2.04. Iran came in once again at 1.65 or so, and in present day, normally they were up to usually below 2, but ever since the 
brief two-week war back in June. They have not returned to their prior oil demand levels domestically. Mexico used to be at about 2 million barrels per day, but after COVID, they never really recovered to prior consumption levels, only getting as high occasionally as 1.6, this time coming in at 1.51. France post-COVID has predominantly been around 1.6, usually this time they're a bit down at 1.46. The UK post-COVID has normally settled down to around 1.5, this time they're a bit up, actually, at 1.62. Italy in present day has declined all the way from 2 down to around 1.3. This time they came in at 1.35. Spain in present day is usually around 1.3 as well. This time they came in just short of it at 1.29 million barrels per day. Turkey set a new consumption record, getting close to 1.4 million barrels per day as they hit 1.37 this time. Thailand in present day has leveled off, is plateauing around 1.2 or 1.3. This time they're a bit down at 1.12. Singapore in present day has declined from their peak of about 1.4 or 1.5 down to closer to 1.2. This time they're down a bit further at just over 1, coming in at 1.01. .01. The UAE setting a new domestic consumption record just a bit higher than the last one at 1.27 million barrels per day of domestic consumption themselves, even though their population is only about 10 million, and that's part of the reason why they're switching from a 3 million barrel per day production plateau up to a 4 million barrel per day plateau, because they want a wider export margin again. Australia in present day is usually between 1.1 and 1.2, this time they came in at 1.08. Nederland is usually now closer to 900,000 as they're very gradually declining. This time they came in at 822. Taiwan was at around a flat 1 million for a long time, but now they've also slipped down over the 2020s to around 900, this time coming in at 861. Iraq in present day is usually up around 900,000 in terms of domestic consumption, and this time couldn't get an exact pinpoint number, but they did come in rounded roughly close to a million. Egypt in present day is between 800 and 900,000, and this time came in at 853. Malaysia is also usually between 800 and 900,000, this time they came in at 840. Poland is usually at about 800, this time they came in a bit down at 731, and it looks like Vietnam set a new record, roughly getting up to 760,000 barrels per day during the summer, before slipping back down closer to 700 as we're heading into fall, so potentially they will be breaking up over 800,000 for the first time next year, we'll have to wait and see. Nigeria gradually making their way up from 600 towards 700,000 barrels per day, and this time came in at 665. Belgium has gradually declined from 700 down towards 600,000, this time coming in at 588. Colombia is up to averaging 500,000 in present day, and now this time is once again coming in above half a million at 530,000. Meanwhile, their domestic production, their own oil output, is down to only around 740, so their export margin is shrinking. Algeria in present day is up to about half a million. They came in a bit short of it again at 476. Chile is usually at about 400 now. This is where they're plateauing off. This time they came in a bit down at 360. Kazakhstan in present day is up to around half a million and this time they came in at 540. Sweden in present day is usually around 300. They came in at 292. Greece is usually around 300. They came in really elevated up at 369,000. Ecuador in present day has reached about 300 or a bit more, 1,000 barrels per day on average, and their domestic consumption this time came in just short at 289. Romania failed to update properly. Portugal, usually around 250, the same average as Romania, despite having half the population. And Portugal this time came in at 222. And then the 200 club of nations that usually average roughly around 200, 
some a bit over it and some just a bit under it. Austria coming in at 233,000. The Czech Republic most recently coming in at 219. Hungary coming in all the way down at 164. Switzerland coming in down at 175. Finland coming in all the way down at 157. And Norway coming in the closest to a flat 200 at 205,000 barrels per day. All right, that's it for this one. So thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. The link's in the description to the drive folder, along with a few other links to other stuff. There's one in the top and comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.